barely crack your yep. hands. Yeah. Just came to Silas's school to drop him off and he's so full of energy in the morning. <laughs> So is my hair apparently. He was in here right now. Ryan, you may have to push that down. I can't grab that. Grab your backpack. But <laughs> he's so full of energy. Get out, please. And he's all pip pip hooray. Pip pip hooray. How do you say it? Pip pip hooray. Pip pip hooray. It's hip. It's hip hip. Like hip hop. It's hip with an H. Oh my gosh. Getting this kid out of the car. It's going to take a quick minute. Okay. I'm gonna grab him from here. He probably went to the other side. Come on, son. Come on. Come on, come on. Get your backpack. Are you going too? Yeah. Get down, please. Put this on. He's like, nope, I'm not going. He said, I'm not going. I'm not picking it up. What is that? What is that from? What is that from? My shower is clean. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. My shower is clean. <laughs> my honey's clean. Yeah? My honey's clean. <laughs> Ready? I'll go get you. <laughs> okay, so, so Silas is in preschool already. He is going to be there until my sister-in-law picks him up, which is when he gets out of school. Is when he's going to get picked up. If you guys watched the video before this one, you guys already know we are going to Ikea this morning. Ryan's dad and stepmom are over at the house, kind of hanging out with the twins as they're Zooming, which, which is distance learning. Silas is situated until his school gets out and we're headed out. Are we going to... West Sack. Oh yeah, so we're going to the West Sack one. There's like a couple Ikeas around here. Not, not here, within like about an hour drive from where we live and we just kind of pick and choose which one we go to there is i feel like the one in west sack is a little bit easier than the one on 580 which is like oakland area yeah emeryville yeah palo alto the palo alto one's like the furthest away from us but they're all like i don't know they're not too 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 far so west sack in my opinion is probably the easiest one to kind of navigate through and stuff so and then the parking structure and everything so we need a little bit of organization in our life. This is actually a, definitely why I like West Sack. Why, to park. Yeah, to park. Yeah. So we need a little bit of organization. This trip was something that we've been wanting to do for quite some time, but we just kept putting it off because it wasn't important. And then also once our bathroom got remodeled and everything, I think, and we always say this, this is the last batch of things that we need to do in the house. But it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> if you're a homeowner, <laughs> you already know that's not the truth. So I will check in with you guys at IKEA. And we're here. So they open at 10 o'clock and it's 9.55, 9.50, something of that nature right now. We were actually expecting there to be a line and there is a line. But the thing of it is, is that they're not open yet. So that is why there's a line. So I figure once they open in the next five minutes or so, the line's gonna like get to moving. The line for Space Mountain. <laughs> this is an adult Disneyland. So it's 10.09 and we're actually pretty close to the front door. It's like, the front door is just right there. I feel like we came at a pretty decent time. Maybe we don't have to wait too long, but they've really made it convenient for you to like stand outside and wait because there's like shaded areas and things. They put up tents and things of that nature. Um, it looks like there's like 10 batches of family that's ahead of us and then we go in next. All right guys, there's just, just one person ahead of us and we're next. So let the shopping begin. See, this makes sense. The bed there. I actually like this bed. This is not open. It's there for looks. You see, it matches that, like it pairs with it, you know? I don't know. I don't have a dresser in our room, but I'm like, do I want a dresser? Because I know I don't have the space for a dresser, but look at this. It's actually 
a good price for this. So we'll do one more white one. We're deciding to replace our pillows because they're not as fluffy as they used to be. And here's our options. <laughs> ah! Options everywhere. Ooh. How about like, did you see these? That one has a tan in it. Oh. You have lots of options, you guys. Lots of options. I don't know. I'm like, not decided. So all of them to be different. Hmm. I'm gonna go back to get, I'm kind of stuck between this. Two of those each. Yeah, or replacing. Really in the yellow, in the yellow. Replacing. Do we just get all of these? Or we just get two more pillows. Yeah. And keep all of it. That's a lot of pillows, dude. I feel like this we can use any time with any color. I can use it with Christmas, and then this could be summer. You could easily go into the other room too if you mm -hmm. keep it in. What season are we going into? We're going into fall. Get red in here. Okay, so we decided on this, and then for right now, and then as the season changes, we're going to replace the yellows with the reds and we're gonna be ready for Christmas. But for right now we're doing this. Are we sure we want this and not mustard? Yellow, mm -hmm. yellow summary, huh? And it just lightens it up. Okay. Here we go. It's amazing how far you feel like or how close you feel like you parked until you're actually leaving a store to go back to your vehicle. Where did I park? Why did we park so far? But earlier I was feeling like it was jackpot. You guys, it's one. It's one. One p.m. Not a.m. Well, that would be bad. One p.m. So it's after lunch and we're just now leaving. I ended up spending a lot more time in like the home decor area than I had planned on spending, but I like stuff from Ikea. Do you want to put some stuff in the bed? All of it. I want to put all of this in the back and then just the boxes in the bed. Okay. Oh my gosh. Here's Ryan's truck. He's got more of a mess in this truck than I do in my SUV, which is surprising to say. Did you get wiper blades? Oh, cool. Okay, so I definitely had to take that sweater off. Originally, I had put on a sweater, a hoodie, because I thought we were going to a different Ikea. Oh my gosh, this air conditioner is blowing right in my eyes, drying out my eyeballs. But it's not sweater weather, I'll tell you that much right now. It's definitely not. We're both hungry. It's 101. I'm not going to make it home without food. So now we're going to find food and then head home. decided to do subway but it's like pandemic central usa over here My husband locked me in. um so i mean they're open but you have to take your food and get out of here so we're pretty much gonna be stuck eating in the car because there's nowhere to sit down and eat but i'm trying to find my stinking mask i just got it story of our lives. What do I do with it? I was looking for my mask. It was in my hoodie pocket. Oh, oh I'm losing it. <laughs> I had to put my hair up because it's getting a little bit warm out here for me. Um, there is seats, but the seat doesn't belong to Subway. I highly doubt they're going to kick us out, but 
I'll give it a try. It's either this or sitting in the bed of Ryan's truck. And I don't know if that's gonna go very well. You think you're okay here? Okay. So Ryan suggested the sandwich to me over at Subway and typically I am not a trier of new things. Every single time I come to Subway, I will get the same exact thing. I will get a turkey sandwich with jalapeno chips. Today I got sweet onion chicken teriyaki. That. I'm gonna give it a try and see if I like it or not. I'm very picky with my food. Although like I'll eat vegetables and random things like that, but when it comes to restaurants, I will pretty much get the same thing every single time at the same restaurant, every single time. So it's almost like clockwork. So I'm gonna try this out. I'll let you guys know what I think. What'd you get? Chicken, bacon, ranch. Except no ranch, just creamy sriracha. Mm -hmm. With extra jalapenos and extra wax peppers. Did you hear her ask you, oh, you like it spicy, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Will you help me open this? I have to come play out. All right. Thank you. Besides the fact that the sandwich is like literally falling apart, it's not that bad. It's like it was set up for a failure to begin with. It's like two pieces of bread instead of one cut fairly well. I feel like it's so different eating here without the boys are just eating out in general without the boys. Mike, eat your food, take a bite. Hurry up, we gotta go. I really suggest that if you guys are wanting to try something new, just try it. It's not that bad, <laughs> says the person that's only tried something new for the first time. Honestly, I've been coming to Subway, gosh, ever since I can remember, like when I'm th when I was working at the ophthalmologist, I used to go to Subway all the time on McHenry and Stanford. So that was in 2003, 2004. I'm sure I ate at Subway before that. And I've always gotten the same thing. So here we are in 2020 making changes. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I am a huge energy drink fan. I actually used to drink an energy drink every single day, but I cut down on it. I had a habit of having an energy drink every single day prior to even getting pregnant with Silas and also prior to getting pregnant with the twins. But as I was pregnant with them, I stopped it. Pretty sure energy drink is not good for you. But it's been a while since I had one. My favorite is Red Bull, but my favorite flavor is raspberry. <laughs> this is not a Red Bull, but it's called X2 and it comes in raspberry flavor. I mean, I've been strong about saying no, but when you're gonna come out with something that has raspberry flavor and is an energy drink, can you unlock the door before you go back in? I mean, I have to say yes. It's super it's actually not that bad. Ryan has to use the restroom at a gas station. That is so gross. I would like never, ever, ever do that unless my life depended on it, I suppose. But back to this. So it's called X2. It's all natural energy, caffeine from green tea pure honey, non-carbonate, non-carbonated. It's called Be Extraordinary. That's what their motto or slogan or whatever is. When I first took a sip, because I was like mentally expecting it to be like really close to energy drink or really close to Red Bull, maybe because of the colors are really, really similar. But I felt like it was flat. And then as I drank it, I read the back of it, it's not carbonated but the raspberry flavor's there and I'm here for it. We are actually now going to head home. It's 1.34, we ate at Subway, it was pretty good. I'm just the right amount of full to where I'm looking forward to going home and just being productive and like decorating and doing a few things that I've been wanting to do around the house. I do want to make one stop to like Hobby Lobby or Ross or something like that. I don't know if Ryan's gonna be up for it, but I know I want to go because I bought some decorating things for the living room. And of course, I want to like dump everything upside down, inside out just to fix it. So, but for right now, I think we're just going to head home. We are back in Modesto. <sighs> Yawning, you guys. We actually, oh my gosh, my poor hair. It's like all sorts of crazy. I've been having it up and having it down. But we're back in Modesto, you guys. We were... It's 2.54 and 
Silas gets out of preschool at 3.30, so we just figured may as well get him because it's just a 30 minute difference of 40 minutes really, if you think about it. But it's so close to him getting out of school that by the time we get home, we're gonna have to turn right back around and get him again. He doesn't like being picked up early from school, but it just makes no sense for us to go home and get him. Besides, we're the adults and he's not, so we just made an executive decision to get him. Ryan actually went out to go grab him really quickly. And then after that, we're going to head home. I'm debating on doing an Ikea haul, if I remember, but usually when I get home and like now the twins are already out of school and stuff, and then my in-laws are there, sometimes I'll forget. So cross your fingers. Hopefully, he'll be able to do one. If not, then... Um, you guys will definitely be able to see all of this stuff once the living room is decorated, so. How are we going to get a bubby in here? That's the surprise. Oh my goodness. What did you get, bubby? Don't step on anything, okay? How was school, my love? What you got in your hands? Yeah. Can it go both ways? Mm -hmm. And it's, you can switch them up too. It's the same ones that you guys already have at home, I believe. What do you say? Thank you, Papa. Are you going to share? Yes. Yes. I want to open it already. Let's, let's, wait, let's wait until we get home. It looks like so, it looks so cool. Yeah. This is a, a garbage can and this is the garbage. I don't know. How was your day at school? Good. Yeah. Did you miss mommy? Yeah. Did you miss papa? Yeah. Who did you miss more? Um, Jesus. Good answer, bro. I told you guys talking about it. What is it, Bubby? Some pants. Pants? Like pajama? Oh, uh, yeah. Who's getting pants? So Silas just wants to go home. He actually, he always does this. Every single time he gets something, he just wants to go home. He's all, actually, I just want to go there already. Who said we're getting pants? Um, you guys? We're not getting pants. We're going home. We're talking about it. I just, Papa asked me if... Well, like we were talking about my head hurting because mommy, mommy has a little bit of a headache. So he's talking about getting rest. He didn't say pants though. And he, and don't, don't. No. Um, but he said he pants <laughs> start with the, um, the, 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 Pants is with a P, sleep is with a S. Okay? You must have short pants. Okay? Are we sure we're sending you to the right school? <laughs> yeah. This is a, I mean, no, it is a Prius. Prius. Yeah, a Prius, yeah. Not necessarily. They come in different colors. Yep. yep. So I think this train set was a hit. What do you think, Bubby? You could. You like it? Yeah. Sorry, this room's under construction right now. But I went the wrong way. Sorry. That's okay. Go, 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 go. Oh, there's a bridge. Up he goes. Go, 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 go. There he comes. So one of the things that we got from Ikea were these right here. 
Um, the boys actually owned some already. That's the white thing right there. It's the garbage to where the trains came in. So it's a rest station. Jonah and Silas put these together. Um, I really, let me show you guys. I absolutely love these trains from there because these are actually magnetic and they just go and they click to each other. And then these ones are all obviously the part of the same family and they do the same thing. And it's just so much fun to be able to make these and do so many different things with them. But, and then this has like a little bridge going over here also. And that is pretty much it. The, um, Brian's parents actually just left right now. He's walking them out. I am fighting this headache, which is killing me. It's like towards like the back right here. And I don't know what it's from. Usually I don't get headaches. The only thing that I can think of and I go through this often is when I am going to be going in public somewhere because I have like a phobia of using public bathrooms. I will just like lower my intake of liquid, like water and stuff like that. So maybe I haven't been drinking that much water. So I'm gonna make myself some lemon water here in a little bit. Hopefully kind of hydrate myself and go from there, but we'll see. I'm actually going to go at an in this vlog here i'm not gonna do an ikea haul only because the stuff is kind of distributed everywhere i am going to do like a redecorate my living room video very soon it's not gonna be like just redecorate my living room but it's just gonna be a project so and then also our shoe area closet that we have downstairs that's gonna be organized and stuff like that so just be on the lookout come back for more of our videos and you guys will have a good idea of all the stuff that we bought at ikea today i do appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to spend it with us just a kind of reminder to you if you have not tried something new um in your life like i did today go ahead and give it a try it's not that bad and um if you have tried something new based off of this video make sure to let me know that is all for today, you guys. Thank you for um, being part of our vlog and enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey everybody. everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. Until we'll next time. We'll see you next time. Come on, time. let's go. Let's go.